today's topic, solar system. What is universe? Oh, universe is everything you can see, touch, taste, hear or feel. So our earth, these trees, all animals and even that sun is universe. Yes, everything is a part of the universe. Oh, I want to know more about universe. Okay, before that, we need to understand something. Look at that tree, very far away. Oh yes, is it small or big? It looks small from here, but it's a big tree. Let's go near it. Oh, this is very big. Remember this? When we see things from a distance, they look smaller. So the moon, which we see at night, is bigger. Yes, even the stars are very big. Let me show you something. Wow, we are flying! Yes, we are going to study the solar system. Solar system? Yes, solar system is sun and his family. Oh, I can see both moon and sun. They look same in size. Let me show you something. Why you are showing me a soccer ball and a tennis ball? It is because sun is much bigger than moon. Like soccer ball is very big than tennis ball. Mm, what is this? Sun looks bigger. Remember, the things at distance look smaller, sun is very far away from the earth. And moon is near to the earth. That is why sun looks smaller and equal to moon size. Yes, you're right. Oh, now can you see these bright dots in the sky? Yes, these are stars. You know, sun is also a star. Oh, so sun is the biggest star. Remember that distance thing? There are many bigger stars than sun, but they're very far away. That is why sun looks big and they look small. Yes, you're right. Do you know how much time it takes for the sunlight to reach Earth? Yeah, my teacher told me it is eight and a half minutes. You're right. And you know, sun is like a ball of burning gases. Oh, that is why it gives so much of light and heat. Yes, we can't go near it. Hey, what are these circles? Oh, these are the roots in which all planets move around the sun. So, sun is in the center. Yes, you're right. Let me tell you something. A group of Roman people discovered about the solar system. So they named everything in Roman. Like, these circles are called orbits, which means moving around in Roman. Orbit, orbit. See, our Earth is a planet and it moves around the sun. It takes one year to complete a circle. Oh, one year, that means 365 days. Yes, now let us move forward. You know, a trip in solar system would take many years. But our magic plane is taking us faster. What is this? Oh, this is Mercury. It is very, very hot because it is close to the sun. So if you move from the sun, Mercury would be first stop? Yes, but we can't stop there as it is very hot and nobody can live here. Let us move forward now. Hey, this is Venus. Morning and evening star. You're right, it is Venus. It is also called morning and evening star. But tell me, why it is called morning and evening star? Oh, because it looks very bright from the earth in the morning and evening. Oh, it is our earth, where we live. Do oh, you know this? Hey, there's a lot of water, which is blue in color. You know, moon moves round the earth. So moon is not a planet? No, no, moon is a satellite of earth. Also, earth is the only planet with human, animals and trees. This is Mars. Hey, this looks red. Yes, this is called red planet. This is red due to a chemical called red oxide. 
Hey, this is such a big planet. Yes, this is the biggest planet. It is called Jupiter. See that red spot? Yeah. It is called Great Red Spot. It is actually a big cloud. Hey, look, this is Saturn. Yes, how you know? Our teacher told us Saturn has rings around it. Do you know these rings are made of rock and ice? Oh, but these look like rings from far away. Let's see other planet. Oh, it is light blue in color. Yes, you know. It also has rings around it. But they are not visible from Earth. Because they are from upside down, unlike Saturn, which are around it. Oh, it is so blue. It is Neptune. It is so blue. So, there are mm, eight planets. And Jupiter is the biggest one. Yes, you're right. Let's go back now. Hey, we saw all planets today. Yes, we saw all solar systems. Let me show you something now. See, if we compare the sizes of all the planets, they would look like this. Wow, Earth looks so small. Even Saturn is so big. Now, this is the entire solar system. Hey, I like it. It is a big family of sun. Yeah. الشمس هي النظام الوحيد في النظام الشمسي والنجم كرة من الغازات الساخنة ينبعث منها الضوء والحرارة لماذا تبدو لنا الشمس أكبر وأكثر لمعانا من أي نجم آخر؟ لأن الشمس أقرب النجوم إلى الأرض والنجوم الأخرى بعيدة جدا عنها الكواكب أجسام كروية تابعة للشمس وقد اكتشف العلماء ثمانية كواكب في مجموعتنا الشمسية والكواكب أصغر وأبرد من النجوم وهي تشبه القمر في أنها لا تضيء بل تعكس أشعة الشمس التي تسقط عليها في عام 1500 للميلاد درس العالم البولندي كوبر نيكوسا الكواكب ووجد أنها تدور حول الشمس وبعد مئة عام جاء العالم الألماني كيبلر وبين أن مدارات هذه الكواكب إهلجية أي بيضية الشكل النظام الشمسي يتكون من الشمس وجميع ما يدور حولها من أجرام سماوية بما في ذلك الأرض والكواكب الأخرى عطارد وهو أقرب كوكب وأول كوكب للشمس الزهرة ثاني كوكب الأرض ثالث كوكب المريخ رابع كوكب المشتري خامس كوكب زحل سادس كوكب أورانوس سابع كوكب نبتون ثامن كوكب وهو الأبعد عن الشمس ولعلك تتساءل الآن كيف لي أن أتذكر أسماء جميع الكواكب في المجموعة الشمسية وعددها ثمانية إليك هذه الفكرة وهذه الطريقة استراتيجية فلو First letter of each word أول حرف من كل كلمة خذ أول حرف من كل كوكب عين زاي ألف ميم ميم زاي ألف نون لتصبح كلمة السر عزام مزان تتميز الكواكب في المجموعة الشمسية بأنها تختلف في أحجامها وسرعتها وبعدها عن الشمس تتصف حركة الكواكب حول الشمس بأنها حركة في مدارات إهليجية وليست دائرية وهذه الحركة حركة شاملة لجميع مكونات المجموعة الشمسية من كواكب وتوابعها تستمر الكواكب في دورانها حول الشمس بسبب جاذبية الشمس للكواكب فإن انعدمت جاذبية الشمس لها فإن الكواكب سوف تفلت في الفضاء تدور جميع كواكب المجموعة الشمسية باتجاه معاكس لاتجاه حركة عقارب الساعة وسرعة الكواكب تتناسب بشكل عكسي مع بعدها عن الشمس بمعنى أن سرعة الكوكب تقل كلما ابتعد عن الشمس
أما بالنسبة لطول المدارات فكلما كان الكوكب قريبا من الشمس يكون مداره أقصر وإذا كان الكوكب بعيدا عن الشمس فيكون مداره أطول